change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid. What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and so I just got finished recording a video on the new card coming, or already in the game. And yeah, they dropped Team Wars, so obviously, um, this is a huge update, so this happened every week. Um, I'll read it from that right now. It's basically, if you want to go in the description, I'll leave like the link and you can go see it. But uh, essentially, Team Wars is a thing and it will, it's basically how it starts is you have three different phases towards the actual like event. Now, I'm just going to kind of like dumb it down a bit and if you want to go read the whole thing, you can. But I'll just summarize it. So basically, you have three phases. The first phase is from Monday to Tuesday of each week where you'll be voting for a team deck. This means everyone can vote for a card. And then on Wednesday and Friday, you will have an upgrading period where the deck you've, your team has chosen will be, you'll be able to upgrade it. So I think they say it's along the lines of um, if most of your team has Bounty Hunter Cow at level 4, you can, your whole team can choose to upgrade that card so that that card is a higher level in the event. While, say, if someone didn't choose to upgrade it, like the other team didn't choose to upgrade Bounty Hunter Cow. There's only locked to level, level 2. I think uh, that's like the standard friendly fight thing. So, yeah. Um, you begin 12 part pair of cards and use a vote as a team. It's important to discuss the cards, which one you want during the battle. Because you can't change it once it starts. So, uh, here's the new currency, which again is called Bottle Caps. They look pretty sick. Uh, basically, um, it's only available during like uh, team war weekends. And you get them from opening, or opening each pack of your upgrade uh pvp pack so you've like limited three times a day and uh you can spend on different things they don't say what you can buy on i'm hoping you buy some legendaries because i mean let's be real it's gonna be limited and you should be able to buy some good stuff out of it so here's the important thing so it is friendly fight tournament style thing so how it's like uh level four uh common three rare two epic and one legendary so it says here that um you can actually upgrade card, which is during Wednesday and Thursday, and you do say this. So let's say player one owns Bounty Hunter Cow at level four, and player two doesn't have Bounty Hunter Cow unlocked. Player one may start want to spend some upgrade tokens to actually unlock Bounty Hunter Cow to level three or four in the war, so they can benefit from a higher level unit. However, if your team upgrades Bounty Hunter Cow to level four, player two, the other team, would only stay at level two because they didn't choose to upgrade the card. So, you know, it's not. An even thing you know if someone was if like a team was to go with um a high level doggy while another team was to go with a high level banana cow or you know something else during that like to go with their team you can and that will pretty much like change the game <laughs> it's gonna be like a good um uh, style tournament thing is pretty cool uh yeah and then the next phase so yeah then the yeah, battle day which is on saturday and sunday which is kind of confusing so you know you get all your team has its own rank and you'll try basically verse people in that rank. So you have um, three wins or three losses. Which one comes first will review a score. So I think uh, I think that means you can either get three wins and two loss rather than one win and two losses. So the first one to three, if you win three, you win three. If you lose three, you lose three. So depending on what your team places, you will actually get crowns or lose crowns, which will move you up to different leagues. And then I think at the end of it, all in all, Team Wars will be a fun new way of playing South Park from the story. It actually does look pretty sick. And it will come mid-January, so next year. And we'll be streaming in an hour. Ooh, okay, I'm going to watch that. So, yeah, um, don't know when this video up. It might be already done at the live stream. But, yeah, definitely get in and ask some questions. Uh, the packs look pretty sick. So, it, honestly, um, I did hear from Buck that they have no plans on, like, ending the game or, like, slowing it down they are going full force and updating the game for hopefully years to come so thank you guys for watching this video um let me know your opinions in the comments and i also want to say one thing if you made it this far um i need to join a team so i mean i'm in one right now um you know i want to say uh i don't always finish events um for the important ones are like i think the buddha box for me at least when you have like a cool outfit or you know they have cards based around like fantasy or certain mystic cards you know i'll try and do it but um you know if you want me your team just leave your team down below and i consider joining in a certain time i'm not ready to leave yet but uh yeah um i want to say this now i'm not like i'm active but like i don't play a lot of the weekend events if they're not important if it like for example satan was out so obviously i had to play for that one um 
So yeah, we'll see how things go. I'm kind of on and off, especially with Union right now. But yeah, uh, if you know, leave comments down below about what you think about the team wars and stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.